Every program run in a Linux environment, whether it's a script or whatever, begins with three files open. They're called standard in, standard out, and standard error. By default, standard in, standard input, is the keyboard, and standard output is the screen. The simplest way to describe this is with a very simple program named CAT. If you don't provide any arguments on the command line to tell it to do something else, it just reads everything from the keyboard and writes everything to the screen. Look at this. Notice that while the line is being typed, it's being echoed to the shell. But the cat command is reading it as standard input. As soon as I hit return, the cat command echoes all of the characters it received, so they now show up on the screen. Now this can be done for any number of lines. The cat command is reading from standard input and writing to standard output. It'll do that until the end of file character appears. The end of file character is control D. The standard input can come from other places than the keyboard. It can come from a pipe, like this. In this case, the output of the echo command was piped right into the standard input of cat, which then sent its output to the display. Another way to redirect standard input is using the less sign, like this. In this example, the less than sign caused the standard input to come from the file, which is the shell script that we wrote in the previous lesson. Now the standard output can be redirected too. Here's an example of redirecting the standard output of the echo command to the word count utility. The stuff that Echo sent to its standard out didn't come to the screen as it usually would. This time it was sent to the input of WC, which counted things and sent its standard output to the display. It's this connection of standard output from one program to standard input of another that makes pipes work the way they do. You can link up whole chains of commands like this by using their standard inputs and outputs. It's also possible to send standard output directly to a file like this. The output from echo didn't show up because it was redirected to the file. The cat command can be used to list the contents of the file. You can redirect the input and the output simultaneously. The cat command can be made to copy a file by redirecting its input from one file and its output into another. Like this. Now the contents of the silly file looks like this. As you can see, with the cat command, if you name a file on the command line, its input is taken from that file. But that's not redirection. That's just the way cat works. In fact, with cat, if you name several files on the command line, the input will be taken from all of them. Now there's one more. Every program also has a standard error that it uses for output. Standard error is very much like standard output and its default is to write to the screen, but it is not redirected through pipes. It can be redirected to a file. The purpose of standard error is to have a way for programs to report their error conditions. Now, let me summarize this. Every program has a standard input and a standard output. Some programs may ignore them, but every program's got them. And they both can be redirected on the command line to read and write to files. And they can be piped in and out of other programs. In addition to this, every program has a standard error for output that can be used to report error messages. These three standard data streams are used in a number of ways, but they are particularly important in shell scripts, and we'll be looking into that in the next few lessons.